Every Thursday was Mom and Sandy's private time to experiment in Sonia's Casa of Beauté. They were cosmetology pioneers, and they took Sandy's poor hair to places where no hair has gone before. Pick a color. Mm, that one. This one? No. That one. Sandy, it's striped. <gasps> Como no? There's always a first time for everything. Hey, Mom. Hey, Sandy. What's up, Mom? Hi, guys. Hi. Did you guys bring home your class pictures? They wouldn't give them to us. They said they weren't paid for. Well, that's weird. Dr. Hoyser called today, said he didn't get his payment either. Ray! Why do I get the feeling I'm in trouble? <sighs> now you know how I feel sometimes. Mom's mad at you because you didn't pay for our class photos. And the doctor's bill. Sandy, I already paid the bill so you can relax. When? This morning. Nothing like waiting till the last minute. Do you mind? Mom, I helped set up debt on the internet so you can pay all that stuff electronically. What's wrong with stamps? For one thing, they taste funny. And another thing is... Uh, no, no, no. Don't even go there. Sandy, you look like a weather satellite. <laughs> Jail. It's not no. even fun anymore. No. Mijo, I need the computer. But I'm expecting an important email from NASA. Gracias. I knew you'd understand. I think I just launched a nuclear attack. Pastthegas.com. Oh. Send a gaseous message to that special someone. Only nine ninety five. Try a free sample. <laughs> cool. Dad, can we borrow your credit card? I don't think so. Unlike every other house in the neighborhood, we just had one TV set. Because Mom and Dad believed it would teach us the art of compromise. Great. We already had to compromise over the phone, the computer, the bathroom, and who got the hot water. Excuse me, I was watching my novella. Relax, this is important. I need to put on the Space Channel. Why don't you two try to agree on something you can both enjoy? Fat chance. All right, what are the choices? There's a special on TV about the next space shuttle mission. Amor y Lechuga. They're going to reveal that Raul, the campesino, might lose his job because he found out he's allergic to arugula. In a democratic society, there was only one way to fairly settle a disagreement. Okay, call it in the air. Heads! Try again. Fine tails. And as commander of STS-70... It's heads! Yes! All right! Yeah! Larry wins, fair and square. Best of three. Please? 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 Lorena? Please? 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 Yeah. Ja, loosely translated from Spanish, means push me one more time and things are going to get ugly. Do you have any concerns about a civilian handling the effect of the three and a half Gs exerted on takeoff? Of course we do, but we feel the right civilian candidate with the proper training will bring a welcome and unique presence to the next NASA mission. This is STS-78. It's a live and microgravity science mission. I'm back in the uh, space lab module at the moment. Ah! Uh, Reruns of the weather forecast would be more entertaining than this. Isn't that cool? They're going to send a civilian to outer space again. If I'd get out of school, I'd go. I'd go. If they pay me a million bucks. That's not the point of it, George. 
Can you imagine the incredible opportunity to be the one average person that represents all the other average people in this country to fly on the shuttle? You'd make history. So you're saying you'd go? Why not? Be careful what you ask for, Dad. Lorena, translation, please. Larry already submitted your name. You did what? You just said you'd love to go. <laughs> Mijo, you just can't go doing things without someone's permission. Well, the NASA website said heroes wanted, and I didn't find anybody who fits that description, except you, Dad. Ray, I told you, if you're too busy, I can pay the bills. I know, but there's just some things a man has to do on his own. Oh, I see. So paying the bills validates your masculinity. It's a new one for the Macho Handbook. Your mailbox is full. Mi amor, why is NASA sending us email? Well, they're for Larry. They probably want him to stop bothering them. Why would he bother them? He submitted my name for some kind of civilian space shuttle <clears throat> mission a couple... That's not funny. <laughs> If I'm accepted, I'm probably going to have to go. Ray, you get a nosebleed on the roof of the house. Well, what am I supposed to do when he, he tells me that the NASA ad says heroes wanted? Mm. Besides, I probably look good in white Teflon. Earth to space hero. Can we still call you dad or should we refer to you as astronaut Garcia? Wait till everyone finds out that our poppy is going to the moon. It's not the moon, it's just space. And don't forget I'm one of several candidates. Can you imagine the endorsement money we could make, dad? This is astronaut Ray Garcia for Apollo Loco. Eh? Uh? <laughs> George, pass the chicken sausage, please. Hold on there, space cowboy. You gotta start being more conscious of your diet. Look, Dad, it's just like the stuff the real astronauts eat. We got you dehydrated liver and onions with cuckoos and freeze-dried salsa. We also got you dehydrated clamshell special, hydrolyzed crustacean, crustacean protein and sweet and sour sauce. Breakfast is served. And for dessert, we got you peppermint cream surprise. That's toothpaste. That's a surprise. This is going to be so cool. Carlos was amazing. He could sell a necktie to a one-armed sailor. I got it. George, I'm coming, I'm coming. How many do we have left? Only about six. I'm gonna need a lot more. Well, I can't get back on the computer. Dad's still on it trying to pay the bills. Do you have them? Five bucks. But there were three bucks this morning. Inflation. Lenny, do you have any idea how much these are gonna be worth someday? Really? Oh, yeah. Like a collector's item. They're gonna be like a Sammy Sosa rookie card. Wow. I hope you guys are gonna use that money for Dad's training. There's some equipment we're gonna have to buy for him. Is he serious? I hope not. Okay, I'll take one. I've had a little time to really think about this NASA thing. And, uh, remember that lecture that I gave you? Which lecture? The one about responsibility. How could we forget that one? That was a long one. No kidding. Not as long as the one on the importance of education. That one was a miniseries. I think your father's trying to make a point. Go ahead, honey. Thank you. 
It's just that e even though I'm flattered that Larry submitted me for such a prestigious mission, I, uh... You're not scared, Dad, are you? Of course not. I'm very concerned about my family, that's all. I can't just go running off to the moon. It's not the moon, Bobby. It's just space. See, you guys are involved in a lot of stuff. I would miss Lorena's recital and, and Larry's science fair. Are you kidding, Dad? You can be my science fair. What about church? Right? On Sunday? What would you guys do without me? We'll be fine. I could even pay the bills while you're gone. And what about my university students, huh? What about them? They were so excited, they even got you going away gift. Where do you see what we're going to get you with their money? I mean their donations. Carlos, this was supposed to be a surprise for this weekend. Uh, what were you trying to tell us then? It can wait. Saturday mornings were sacred for my dad. It was a house rule that he was not to be disturbed before 9 a.m. Apparently, Samantha and Sandy didn't get the memo. It's 7 in the morning. Oh, thanks. Larry said we could watch you train today. Train what? For being an astronaut. Carlos gave me VIB credentials. Half off. Oh, come in. Has he started? No, he hasn't started. Oh, my mom asked me to give this to you. What is it? It's the power cord to her old treadmill. The one that Larry bought. With the money your students chipped in. Larry! Oh, hey, Dad. You're gonna have to put on some different clothes. Why don't we take a step back here and you tell me just exactly what's going on? Well, if you're going to space, I figured you'll need to be in shape. Totally buff. Yeah. Who ever heard of a chubby astronaut? <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Garcia, but could you sign this before you get all sweaty? Garcia is about to start his very first session. Uh. What are you doing? Collecting admission. Carlos, this is supposed to be a public service. Why after you're done with this, Dad? Uh, uh, I, I don't think my shape is going to be an issue. There's other things to worry about, like like uh, weightlessness and G-forces. Don't worry, Dad. You got that covered, too. Oh! <laughs> What, you want me to ride on that thing? No way, that's for whips. You get to train on that. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Uh, Grunt. My dad is training to go to space, so can you make this thing go extra fast? <laughs> Can a frog take a whiz standing up? I don't know. Terminal velocity coming right up, little man. Cool.
Yeah, cool. Mail call, uh, Larry, space catalog. All right, finally. Uh, Lorena, Amor Lechuga Fan Club. Carlos. Way to go, Carlos, woo! -hoo! Bills, bills, and um, more bills. These would be for you, Dad. Ah, great. Dad, I spoke to Grant and he said you set a record for throwing up more than anybody. So your friend Grant, I'm very honored. You can tell him yourself. He said that you can ride Supreme Scream every day after school for free. Cool, huh? Poor baby. Te quiero. Help. Thought you'd never ask. Mi amor, I know you always said you'd do anything for the kids. Even go to the moon and back. Yeah. But I didn't think you meant it literally. You gotta draw the line, Ray. My dad would do anything for his kids. He even has the emotional stretch marks to prove it. I just don't want to disappoint Larry. I guarantee he will not run away and join the circus if you decide that you don't want to take a free trip on the tip of a missile. Come here, Rocket Man. Ow. Ow. Oh. 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 Mijo, can I come in? Sure, Dad. Pásale. Where are your wrestling posters? I don't even see the astronaut. Well, they're in the closet. Okay. Mijo, there's something I really need to talk to you about. Sure, Dad, but can I show you something? Yeah. It's a special coin edge with you on it. Hey, Dad, do you think they're gonna throw a parade for you when you get back? Well? No pude. I couldn't break his heart. Poor Dad, you really messed things up trying to pay our bills online. It's not that bad. Look, I paid the water bill, 87.40. Yeah, but you sent it to a laundry in Pueblo, Colorado. <sighs> what are you doing? Taking some of my father's advice. Sticking to what I know. Technology takes a giant leap backwards. Maybe now you guys can pick up your class pictures, huh? Dad, Dr. Hoiser is in the living room. What's he doing here? He probably wants your autograph or something. Maybe he's mad you didn't pay his bill. He's not mad about anything. I just want to give you a physical, Ray. Make sure you're in tip-top shape for your mission. Since when do you make house calls? Well, it's not every day one of my patients becomes a celebrity. Besides, Sonia asked me, guys, I'm gonna need a little privacy. Okay. Hey. Okay. Do you think he's gonna be okay? Of course, Dad's never been sick a day of his life. See, I told you he's okay. Not so fast, young man. I have some good news and some bad news. This is just like my novella. Kids, your dad's in great shape for his age. Good. <laughs> Because we just ordered a grip of new photos. But he has a problem. What? You see, your dad has a malformation of his inner ear. It's nothing serious. But as they say at NASA, we're going to have to scrub this mission. No way! See you guys. Well, that's it. Wait a second. Wait. Gracias, mi amor. Nice try. What do you mean? I would do anything for you too, my love, but this one I'm gonna have to handle by myself. Kids, there's nothing wrong with my ears. But the doctor said... The good doctor was just trying to help because your mother, who happens to be a great wife, tried to cover for me because I wasn't man enough to tell you myself that I just don't want to go. Wow. If you're not man enough to go, then there's no way I'd ever go to space. No, that's not true, mijo. Just because I don't want to go doesn't mean you can't someday.
That was so cool. He used to tell us that it takes a man to admit to his fears, and it takes a bigger man to confront them. Larry, I'm sorry if I've disappointed you and your brothers and your sister. You gonna be okay, Milo? Yeah, I'll be okay. Actually, it's a good thing that you're not going. Really, Milo? Yeah, we would probably miss you a lot. Besides, we need all the heroes we can get here on Earth. Hey, Dad, do you think that Mr. Grunt would still let us go on Supreme Scream? I'll see what I can do. Great, let's eat. What? We don't eat until I say so. What? In T minus ten, nine, eight. Yes. He did it! He did it! Yes. This guy is unbelievable! Turn it up! Turn it up! He did it! Commissioner Garcia is talking fines and suspensions if her kids don't finish their homework. What do you mean? I'm done. Me too. I'm on my last problem, Mom. Okay. Dad, can you help me with this? Why don't you ask your brothers? Because George doesn't know and Carlos wants two bucks for the answer. Uh, what happens if you move that and then carry the decimal point? Oh, now I get it. Thanks, Dad. I always thought a hero was someone famous, like an astronaut, a soccer player, or a guy that hits more home runs than anybody. And then I realized that a hero was right under our noses. This everyday guy, my dad. A guy who suited up for every game, played his heart out rain or shine, and never worried about being inducted into the Hall of Fame. That was my dad. Todo para la familia. Everything for the family. <laughs>